patience important uh, when you have to put the time in to get yourself back into the lineup the way you have, Trevor? For sure. Um, it's been a long, long four weeks here, and you, you know, when you start feeling a little better, you think, hey, I'm ready to jump back in there and go for it. But um, uh, the medical staff's done a great job, and uh, I'm excited to be back. Can you take us back to the injury itself and what you felt on the play? When yeah. Um, I don't really, I mean, I remember it. Like, I was trying to grab the puck and get to the neutral zone, and then I uh, just kind of caught it in a bad spot, bobbled it, and uh, I was a big guy on the other side. So, um, lucky he held up. Did you know right away that it would be something that would keep you up for a while? No, nah, I kind of, like, got the wind knocked out of me, and I, I got up like I was, you know, trying to be okay, and then kind of felt a little something wrong there. So. You talk, talk with Dermot and other players who've been through similar situations. I guess everybody's different, but to see how they navigated it, at least mentally and physically. For sure. Um, just... Like you said, just navigating the, the part about recovery and then also kind of what you'll feel when you get back. Um, general consensus is that it's going to be a little sore, but, uh, you know, as long as it's not too bad, you should be fine. Had you ever had an injury like this before? Uh, not a shoulder, no. So what's the last few weeks been like for you in terms of your rehab and recovery? Um, I mean, just a lot of in the gym stuff and just strengthening and, and all that, that good stuff. A lot of cardio, which has been fun, but uh, glad to be back on the ice doing it that way. Do you expect to be able to play tomorrow? Uh, I'm not sure. i got to talk to the medical staff, see what they're saying. Former Marley graduate, what did you think of the uh, Timo goat combination on that big third goal in Edmonton? <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, definitely seen those guys do it at, uh, at the American League level, and uh, it translates here. How did it feel good to get an opportunity to score a, a goal as big as that one meant in Edmonton? Uh, how did it all come down as you're watching all that hard work Timo was doing to get it set up? Uh, so just brought the puck in the zone. It was a good change. It just got on the ice and went to the net as he found me. And uh, I was just stepping in the net, and I guess uh, he made a great play, great pass, and uh, ended up winning a goal. Yeah, you had to get that one. How close did you get the other to getting the other one earlier in the game? Yeah, no, I should have got the other one earlier. Just stab it wide. Uh, yeah, no, just, just have to get those, and uh, no, I was happy to get that one. In the last couple of years, you've worked with stick handling and the puck down low, given how big a man you are. Was that a factor in the goal you scored in Edmonton? Yeah, a little bit, I think. Uh, you get more comfortable uh, the more you're playing. So uh, it was a nice pass right on my tape. I was, I was surprised it went through. Dima was surprised as well. And uh, I just got to tap it in after. So uh, great pass all over. I guess you build on that confidence-wise. It has to help. Yeah, no, of course, the more bigger confidence is, the better you play. So uh, no confidence is a big part. It's like one of your uh, Marley buddies is going to get back. Uh, what's it mean to have Trevor getting into the lineup again with what he's going to bring to the line? Oh, that's nice. I think uh, he's been out for injury. I think it's good to be back. and want, every, want everybody to be healthy and be able to play. So, I know he's smart with the puck play and make some good plays, and he works hard. So, excited to have him back. Uh, congratulations, Timothy. What does it mean to be called up in terms of confidence, knowing how hard and consistently well you've played for the Marlies? Uh, yeah, it's a good feeling. I mean, I, I felt pretty good down with the Marlies, so uh, uh, to get the call up uh, feels good. And your partner goes over to Sweden to play for the World Juniors. It's a pretty good week for both of you guys, isn't it? Yeah, he was, uh, he was pretty pumped up about, uh, about going to Sweden and uh, to represent Sweden. Uh, so, uh, you know, good week for both of us, and uh, I'm happy for him. What were you told uh, when you were recalled about possibility of playing or anything like that? Uh, they just told me uh, basically that a couple of guys were a little banged up and uh, uh, just wanted me here uh, in case something happened and uh, that I uh, should be ready to go. What's been working well for you so far this season with the Marlies? Uh, I think just skating, uh, skating with the puck, uh, uh, be a puck carrier up the ice and uh, uh, distribu distribute pucks to forwards and uh, obviously uh, playing with uh, uh, Sandy uh, has been good for me as well. You get a chance to play 20 plus minutes, and I, I know power play and penalty kill. Is this the best part about the American Hockey League in terms of graduating your development and getting you here sooner than later on a full time basis? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, as soon as you, you play over 20 minutes, you can have a little bit more poise to your game. Uh, you don't feel like you have to do something every shift. You just kind of go with the flow and, uh, uh, and do stuff when, when you can. So uh, it's easy, easier to play, play good hockey when you play more minutes. How important is this for his confidence to reward him with the consistent year he's had down there? Well, we think that was a big part of it. Obviously, we have some defensemen that are a little bit banged up, so we needed some insurance here, but also served as a great opportunity to have guys like him come up and get reps in practice and find a level of comfort around here that could serve him well in the future, but he certainly earned it. I guess if he doesn't get in now, though, Sheldon, you know that 
that's a possibility down the line where we didn't know that about him six, eight months ago. Yeah, that's what I mean, just with the progress that he's made. And, of course, I, I've, I've lived that with him and I've and, uh, been there. And I know, you know, at times people have been hard on him and his development. It hasn't been as quickly as some may like, but we've seen steady progress there. And he's really worked at it and kept a good attitude. And it was nice to see him here in the building today. Is there anything specific this season that you saw or that you've heard that he's made progress on this year? Well, obviously, I, I mean, for most of the year, I was right, right there with him. And um, I think he's just continued on with where he left off last season in terms of being a very reliable guy away from the puck and playing against other teams' best players and taking a step offensively this year with a little, little more power play time for him, but continues to be a mainstay on the penalty kill and really refining the defensive side of the game for himself, which is an important piece. And continuing to look to find his level of comfort offensively, but he's just looking to be a guy that's going to serve well in all areas of the game.